Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Kento Inokuma of Nagoya University. In my presentation, I talk about interaction between shock wave and turbulent wake. This is the outline of my presentation. Background, grid turbulence shock wave interaction, cinder wake shock wave interaction, and conclusions. In order to realize supersonic transport, it is necessary to solve sonic wave problem. Uh, the sonic boom is the shock sound caused by su supersonic flight uh, producing, a sh uh, producing a shock wave. And uh, this figure shows the uh, shock wave propagation and sonic boom formation. And the overpressure waveform of the shock wave is known to be changed by interacting with uh, atoms with turbines. This figure shows uh, different waveforms obtained by field experiment. But the uh, detailed mechanism of change in overpressure affected by turbulence remains unclear. So basic study of shock wave affected by turbulence is important. In our previous study, we conducted a wind tunnel experiment on turbulence shock interaction. This figure shows the schematic of the experimental equipment. Uh, at the test section of the grid, at, at the test section, at the entrance of the test section, uh, we ins installed the grid, square grid. And uh, in the test section, uh, we produced uh, uh, grid turbulence field. On the other hand, the shock wave is uh, ejected vertically downward from the open end of the shock tube. Uh, the shock wave is uh, interacted with grid turbines and reaches to the pressure transfer location. The time history of overpressure measured here are shown, shown in this figure. Each line corresponds to no flow case, the largest peak over pressure case, the smallest case. And we can find that as in the uh, field experiment, uh, we can find that the shock wave over pressure uh, were fluctuated by the effect of turbulence. But since we only measured uh, over pressure, by using pressure transducer. Uh, detailed relation between the turbulent velocity and the shock wave of pressure is unclear. So in this study, we conducted simultaneous measurement of velocity field of turbulence and overpressure of shock wave. Now, I talk about grid turbulence shock wave interaction. This is the schematic of the Test section. Grid turbulence is made here, and the uh, turbulence velocity field is measured uh, with a hot wire here. On the other hand, the shock wave is ejected uh, from here, and uh, and it's uh, uh, interacted with turbulence and propagates to the pressure transfer location. And we consider four different cases of grid turbulence by changing grid site M and uh, velo mean velocity U0. Uh, each case has different uh, turbulence characteristics such as uh, root mean squared velocity fluctuation, URMS, and uh, integral length scale, maybe U. And for each case, changing the measurement height H we repeat 500 runs of simultaneous measurement of velocity and lower pressure. Now I talk about uh, velocity uh, data processing of our experiment. Uh, we measured uh, velocity time history of velocity with a hot wire. So from the time history of velocity UT, we obtained a spatial distribution of velocity U of D, where D is uh, simply 
u0 times t by using Taylor hypothesis. And by taking the average of uh, ud with the cut, cut of length delta d, we calculate uh, u bar of d and delta d. Here, u bar means low pass filtered velocity at uh, location d above the length scale delta d. On the other hand, the shock wave uh, propagates in the velocity field u bar delta d delta d and reaches to the pressure transfer location whose uh, peak over pressure is measured as a delta p. Uh, we define turbulence velocity fluctuation as u bar minus mean velocity and uh, peak over pressure fluctuation as delta p minus mean uh, peak over pressure fluctuation, uh, peak, mean, mean value of peak over pressure. And to estimate the relation between both fluctuation, we calculate the correlation coefficients R of d and delta d between both, both fluctuations. And this figure shows the, uh, an example of corre calculated correlation coefficients between velocity and overpressure. And we can find that they are positively correlated, which means that the in for the increase in the uh, turbulent velocity fluctuation against the shockwave propagation, the shockwave overpressure fluctuation also increases. And we also can find that large correlation uh, coefficient can be observed at specific location d and scale delta d. We define the value of uh, maximum correlation coefficient as R max and corresponding value of d as d max and uh, corresponding value of delta d as delta d max. Here delta d max is of the order of the integral length scale of grid turbulence in each experimental condition. In this uh, study, we uh, focused on the trend of R max and D max. This figure shows the relation between D max and measurement height H, and we can find that uh, uh, each plot is near the shock ray from the shock tube to the pressure, pressure transfer location. This means that, uh, as in this figure, the overpressure fluctuation uh, cor correlates with the velocity fluctuation on the shock ray. And here, uh, this figure shows the relation between d max and corresponding value of uh, correlation coefficient r max and we can find that uh, for the specific location d dp the r max has a, a peak value same trend can be observed at for uh, for an, for uh, other experimental cases. Uh, for Dmax larger than Dp, uh, like like here, uh, tab, uh, correlation coefficient is low uh, because turbulent effects can be negated during the propagation. However. For the D, for Dmax smaller than Dp, like here, uh, we uh, also has small D R max. This means that Dp is related to the response time of the overpressure fluctuation after uh, affected by turbulence. 
Now let's move on to the cylinder wake shockwave interaction. Um, we measured uh, characteristics of cylinder wake by using hot wire. And this figure sh shows the velocity defect distributions in uh, vertical directions. And this figure shows the RMS velocity fluctuation distributions in, y, uh, in vertical directions. And we confirmed the self-similarity of the cylinder wake. Uh, here, B is the uh, half basis, which is uh, used to estimate the wake core region uh, in, in my experiment. Uh, so <coughs> in this experiment, we uh, evaluate the uh, wake, wake region by half with this B. And here is the schema schematic of cylinder wake shockwave interaction uh, experiment uh, setup. And cylinder wake region is uh, produced here. Uh, and uh, uh, this table shows the uh, experimental condition of cylinder wake. This is a uh, uh, as the, this is uh, grid turbulence experimental condition of M hundred U ten as a reference, both has similar characteristics, but uh, different point is the cylinder wake uh, can be made partially turbulent uh, region. But M hundred, uh, but grid turbines uh, can make uh, free turbulent region. So, to compare uh, the, uh, to compare this, we can uh, investigate the. Uh, we can investigate the effects of turbulent layer thickness on the shock wave over pressure fluctuation. And changing measurement height H and uh, cylinder location HC, we repeat 500 runs of simultaneous measurement of velocity and over pressure. And this figure shows the correlation coefficient, uh, an example of correlation coefficient between velocity and over pressure. And as in the grid turbulence experiment, grid turbulence experiment they are supposed to be correlated and strong correlation is observed at specific location B and delta B. And this shows the relation between D max and measurement height H. Uh, each symbol corresponds to the uh, measurement point as shown in this figure. And uh, as in the grid turbulence experiment, the overpressure fluctuation correlates with the velocity fluctuation on the shock wave. And this figure shows the uh, relation between D max and R max. And we can find the stronger correlations are obtained by cylinder wake than by grid turbulence because the cylinder wake uh, can make a limited uh, wake region. So, so that's why the correlation coefficient may, uh, becomes higher than grid turbines. And, uh, and to see these three plots or these three plots, uh, we can find that stronger correlation uh, can be obtained at H is HC or just behind the uh, cylinder than at H is HC plus B or HC minus B.
And by changing the cylinder height HC, we investigated the effects of interaction distance di on the mean peak over pressure delta P and RMS, its fluctuation delta P RMS. As in this figure, uh, delta P, uh, the mean peak over pressure, over pressure decreases as the interaction distance increases. On the other hand, the RMS uh, over pressure fluctuation increases as the interaction distance increases. So uh, in summary, we conducted uh, experiments on turbulence shock interaction and measured velocity of turbulence and over pressure of shock wave. The velocity of and uh, over pressure fluctuations are positively correlated. Turbulent fluctuation on the shock wave has large influence on the over pressure. Over pressure fluctuation has finite response time after affected by turbulence, turbulent fluctuation. Turbulent fluctuation of the order of the integral length scale has large influence on the overpressure. And for the cylinder wake shock wave interaction experiment, uh, stronger correlations are obtained by cylinder wake than by grid turbulence. And mean overpressure dec decreases and RMS overpressure increases as the wake interaction region increases. So thank you so much. Uh, the Shock wave produced by the supersonic transport transportation uh, can be negated during the propagation. So on the ground, it can be near, uh, near the one, Mach, Mach number one. So it is near my experiment. Uh, no, I can only uh, realize this 1.04 uh, 